Hello and welcome. My name is Paul Stanton. I'm privileged to be the eighth president of East Tennessee State University. And on behalf of all of our current students, and on behalf of all of our faculty and staff, and our alumni, I welcome you to East Tennessee State University. Our history is very special in that this campus where I'm now standing was once upon a time a farm. A man named George L. Carter gave his property and a major financial gift to establish one of Tennessee's normal schools in 1911. October 1911, students came here to become teachers. There was a total of 29 of these students that arrived that October. Now we have a very complex university. We have over 15,000 students. We have over 2,300 faculty and staff, and we have graduated right at 80,000 alumni from this institution. Very special place for all of us, and now you're part of us. You have in some means sometimes struggled to make it here. You've had to accomplish, you've had to make good grades, great grades, and to move forward in your career pathway progression. For that, we're all appreciative. But don't even think about stopping. The momentum you have, you need to carry forward in the days, the months, and years to come. Use your momentum to do well intellectually, to build upon your intellectual abilities, to make good grades. Also remember to be involved. Whether you're talking about an SGA, Student Government Association leadership position, or you're talking about being a member of a club or other organization, which we have over 200 here, fraternities, sororities, athletics, we want you to achieve because we want you to be the very best person you can be when in a few months or a few years you leave here with that diploma or certificate in hand. Now as you move out into the world, to the workforce ahead, carry the banner of East Tennessee State University. You've come from a place that was a farmland to now that, that is a place of a major institution for higher education. And just as in the last 40 commencement addresses I have given, going back now almost 15 years, I would like to leave you with the words of a very special person, John Wesley, founder of Methodism, but it's not as much about a Methodist speech as it is about what you need to do, you should do to make yourself, this campus, this world a better place for us all to live. And it goes like this, do all the good you can by all the means that you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, and at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as ever you can. God bless you and good luck.